going on, everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. It's farm some news, baby. I said thumbs up, thumbs up. Today we got 30 PC mods and testing. We got 16 console mods and testing. It's Fact Sheet Friday. Custom modding T some John Deere and Case mods, but reversed. Steam Camp Modding is updating their Steiger series. The SR Modding show off their new truck. 40 Modding are opening up their baler. Connect Modding are making some really, really big cotton bales. Carl Farms talks about his Indum trailers. Dutch Modding Inc. is a new subsoiler. Plus, G4 shows off his new shed, and it's absolutely massive. Let's check it out. In testing for PC, we have the 1.5 meter disc Hero, Class Zerium 3000 Saddle Track, Concrete Block Garage, DEF Production, Duvelsdorf MSS 3700 Fenders, Gwil RBG, Hall Silo, HW6011 Pack, Cavern Lintara 12040D, Lizard Ilm R, Lizard Poplar Cutter, Meriton Tipper Bundle, Meprezet PN20, Millennial Farms, Old Grain Garage Storages Pack, Pallet Price Balancer, Panel Fence and Gate, Pellet Press, Pottinger Euro Boss Pack, Real Speed Limit, Realistic Cab View, Realistic Large Seed Storage, Seasons Geo Lowry, Minnesota, Segway, Really? The Angevin Countryside, Ungetsheim, West TP End Dump Pack, which we're going to talk about, and the West Semi Trailer Dolly, which we're going to talk about as well. It's SD4 console. We have the CV398H, Dutch Garden Shed, Homemade Small Trailer, HW80 Wood Trailer, Hydraulic Bollard, LB3526, Lizard 5. 575 Brazil, Lizard Music Ninjas, Massey Ferguson 7370 Brazil, Placeable Fruit Trees Pack, Pottinger Servo 35, Step Deck Trailer IBM LPM 85, Stroutman Terrafitas CFS, Lizard Subsoiler 5 Rod, Transport Box, and the Uniport 4530. With all that being said, we still have 74 mods sitting waiting to be tested, and the current average waiting time for newly submitted mods is 4 work days. Today, Giants released 3 new fact sheets for the Alpine Farming Expansion DLC releasing on Thursday, November 12, 2024, all platforms. PlayStation 4, Xbox One, PC, Mac, and Google Stadia. Owners of the new PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X and S will also be able to enjoy the new DLC as well. If you're on PC and would like to pre-order the DLC, I do have a link in the description of this video and every video, and that link goes to help support the channel at no extra cost to you. If you're on console and on the Season Pass, or if you're even on PC and plan on buying the Season Pass, you will receive this DLC and all the DLCs for free the day of release. And for everyone else, you can play this DLC November 12th for $19.99 USD. With all that being said, let's check out today's new fact sheets. Starting off with the Ridge Track SKE50 Electric. This will be the first fully electric tractor in Farming Simulator 19, at least officially. This can be found at Tractor's going to be $49,500, very affordable. It has 68 horsepower, 50 kilowatts of power. It's going to go 40 kilometers per hour or 24 miles per hour. Has 80 kilowatt hour battery, which is very interesting. And you have the standard wheels or twin wheels as well. Those can be changed between Midas, Trailborg, and Michelin. Next up, we have the Pottinger HIT 8.9T. This is going to be a brand new tether to farm sim. This is going to cost you $23,000. It requires 60 horsepower, 44 kilowatts power. Will travel at 19 kilometers per hour or 11 miles per hour, which is very standard. And has a working width of 8.9 meters or 29 feet. And your last fact sheet today, we have the SIP Favorite 254. This is going to be a new wind rower, and it's going to cost you $5,000. Requires 20 horsepower, 15 kilowatts power, has a 20 kilometer per hour max working speed or 12 mile per hour max working speed, and has a 2.5 meter working width or 8 feet, and you can change up the design. Custom Mining show new screenshots of two big projects that they've been working on, the John Deere Cedar and their Case IH Planter, the Early Riser series. They say for their next projects, should they make John Deere planters and Case IH Cedars? Kind of flip-flop? I think so, absolutely, that would be amazing. And they also say their Dyersville map project has not died, so they will have more information on that soon if that's something you've been looking forward to. Steamcat Modding gives us an update on their Steiger series, which has been sent off to Giants for testing. They say that they've changed the tires to be a true one-to-one -one scale of what they're supposed to be, and you can see that from the pictures that we're showing here. They've also got a change log for us. This is going to be 1.002. They've changed the rear lights on the US configuration, fixed the tire size to the correct scale, changed the ladder to the correct model for the Steiger, and changed the fenders to fit the correct tires. This is one of my favorite tractors of all time, and who better to make it and bring us a great update than Steam Camp Modic. VSR Modding, sir, say well. We've got the VS Truck PT281 uploaded today and sent off to Giants 
for testing for all platforms. If you saw A2 Studios live stream last night, you would have seen this, as well as another mod that we're going to talk about a little bit later on in Farm Sim News. This is an absolutely beautiful truck. What can be said other than these pictures? They say a thousand words. Check this out. Just look at it. Oh my god. 40 modding say they broke a chain today. Time to strip it down. You can see their new Heston 4900 baler right here. It's got a lot of different options that have been included on here. And you can even see that we have bell twine in there. And you can even open up some of the panels to see the interior of this baler. They've been working on this baler for a long time and teased it for quite a few months at this point, showing the process off little by little. They have modded each and every single piece to this down to the smallest little screw or anything like that. And you can see their true attention to detail with this one picture alone. Man, this thing looks good. Did somebody say massive cotton bells? Oh yeah. We get a sneak peek of the third piece of equipment coming with Connect Modding's John Deere Cotton Pack the Lizard B11 Square Cotton Baler. As you may note, their John Deere 9996 dispenses loose cotton, which is collected by their Lizard Bash trailer. But if you wish, you can make some truly massive cotton bales to make handling and transporting easier. These look to be about two times the size of the standard cotton bale, which is pretty crazy. The pack was submitted to Giants earlier this week for testing for all platforms. So at least at the time of recording, which is Friday morning, no testing information is known on the pack. Carl Farm says they received some feedback from Giants two days ago regarding the West EP dump trailer pack and their dolly. They said they fixed the issues that were reported and resubmitted it for testing. They should hear back by the middle of next week, they say, even though we have seen it in testing today. They said they can't promise anything and they can't even promise that this is going to be released because one of the requests from Giants was to combine the dolly and trailers into one pack. They say that they don't want to do this because they've got some plans to create another trailer pack for us, which we didn't even know about until this post was posted. And they say both trailer packs will have to be installed in order to use the dolly. If you don't know about their dolly, check out previous episodes of Farm Some News that we talked about this. It is a truly remarkable dolly that can either work as normal or lock onto the trailer, making backing it up very, very easily. So they don't want to make people download one pack just to use the dolly alone. So. They've explained that to Giants and hope that this mod is approved. I hope it is too. Dutch Modding Inc. has posted for the first time since the middle of September saying work in progress, the Evers Mustang and Evers Rollers. They say there's no release date or platform information known at least at the time of recording, but as you can see, they've got it on the back of the John Deere. It's looking really good. They've got the rollers installed on here. They've got the cultivator or subsoiler, whatever it's going to be. Either way, it's a beautiful, beautiful mod and Dutch Modding Inc. always does just top-notch work, A-plus across the board. And speaking of A-plus, Mr. David Clark, aka G-Force Modding, says this is a work in progress still, and it's way bigger than he intended, but oh well, <laughs> that's what I love, man. Said he doesn't like the 3D siding and doesn't like the OSB texture on the wood on the inside of it, but they've got some work to do on it. Nonetheless, how intense and how insane does this look? It reminds me a little bit of the shed, the pig shed over on Lone Oak Farm, but like <laughs> cranked up to 11. This thing is insane. It already looks good and I would be happy with what's shown here in game, but he's gonna make it even better. Oh, I'm looking forward to this. Just like every episode of Farm Sim News, links to all topics discussed today can be found in the description below. There's no release dates for mods, so myself nor anyone else knows when any mod is gonna be released. If I did not talk about something that you're interested in or curious about, that just simply means that there's no new information at the time of recording, so please refer to previous episodes and the most current status of those projects, and make sure you stay tuned to the channel for updated information on everything going on new in the world of Farming Simulator, and heads up, I don't have anything to do this weekend, so we should have Farm Sim News Saturday as well as Sunday. So make sure you look forward to that as well. Well, guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you drop a like on the video, get subscribed to the channel if you're new, and join the Go Ham fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. All being said, I hope you have a great day. We will see you. I know this week's schedule's been a little bit weird, but don't worry, it gets worse. I'm getting LASIK next week.